Hi, I'm Chris at PDQ.com. Today we're going to show you that the WannaCrypt vulnerability that's out there can be easily managed with PDQ Deploy and PDQ Inventory. So, uh, first and foremost, we recently released a update to the collection library for uh, to be able to target the machines that have this WannaCrypt vulnerability, which has to do with the SMB uh, issue that was identified and fixed by Microsoft in March. We have those here. So, let's go ahead and select uh, under the collection library, you have the Windows Updates uh, collection here. We're going to see WannaCrypt patch MS1710. This is what was identified in March and fixed. So if you have your machines that are up to date, you're good. If you have uh, Windows 10 up to date, like 1703, you're good. But in the off chance that you don't, this can identify the machines that you might be able to see. So if we expand those and see the not patch, it'll show all the machines. You can break them down per server or per workstation and see that these versions of Windows 10 1511. Oh, we have none that are missing the patch. That's great. Let me jump into the servers. Tasnair 2. We have four machines that are missing this patch and thus will need to be patched. So, what is the patch you ask? Well, now that you ask, uh, we actually had a, a lot of questions about this uh, that we've, we, we've understandably had. Because this has to do with Microsoft's patches, this is a Microsoft update. And so if you're using Windows 10 and you're using the Windows updates, you've got them. If you're using an older version like Windows 7 or Windows 8, uh, those have changed recently from the standard Patch Tuesday all the patches method to a, a cumulative roll-up method. So, that being said, if you were to go into the package library and look for the category of Windows updates, you can see those. So here we have the Windows 7 monthly roll-up, the Windows 8 uh, monthly roll-up, as well as the security-only updates, which if you're aware and you're using them, you probably already know what they are. What those are, those are per month updates. So if you're using the per month updates, you need to remember that you have to use the March security only updates. So you have to actually select one of these for the security onlys and come over here and use the March 2017 update. But if you're not using those and you're actually using the monthly rollups, you'll be up to date and you'll actually be patched for this. However, Microsoft also kind of wanted to do some out-of-band updates for Windows XP, Windows 8, not 8.1, excuse me, I keep saying Windows 8, and uh, Server 2003. Those are available in our package library. So if we actually pull that up, which I had up, and come up here to the WannaCrypt out-of-band patches, if you download this, you'll be able to patch those versions of Windows because Microsoft has released those patches to the public as well. That is it. I'm Chris at PDG.com. Thanks.